Hello there, everybody. And this is what a film YouTuber looks like. I'm kids. What what it look like? What do you do? Los Angeles, California has the third biggest homeless population in the United States. Okay. And today, it's my job to make sure there's one less hungry person on the streets. You said hey, homeless. Excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering, are you hungry by any chance, man? All right, man, I got you. Would you like a baconator, fries, a drink? Is that cool? All right, what's your name, man? Israel. God bless you, Israel. I got you. I'll be right back, man. One baconator combo, please. Yeah, Is he actually going to give it to him? I got you a, I got you a Sprite, you know, a large fry, got you a Baconator, man. I'll What's he going to do, bro? So I, I want to make sure you get on the right path, you know. You're always, Yo. uh, you know, get back on your feet. I'm a clown. You know, so I, I want you to enjoy this. I'm a clown. Nigga, that's fucked. That is. Nigga, why would you do that? Like, nigga, why? Like, if you find this entertaining, that shit's just fucking stupid. Like, what what was the point of this? You feel you, you feel proud about yourself, nigga? You eating in front of a homeless nigga? You up for real? I'm a clown. I'm a clown. All right, take care. Have a nice day. Yeah, bro. I don't because you know what's so crazy about nah. this is not only that he did that, but also like he's a cameraman who's like walking around with him, who was like who actively nah, like, bro. watched him do that and thought that it was like acceptable for him to do shit like that. That's like the definition of like trying to get attention by any means. By, yeah. by literally any means. You know, that so was not it, bro. You, bro. you didn't get that attention. He got it though. Well, that, that, out. that clip was shared everywhere. And probably the bad way. And I think then after that, I mean, he's been getting a lot more attention. My life before L'Oreal Men Expert, I remember. I was a disaster. My life after L'Oreal. Heritage, not hate. So, I mean, he just, he's seeking attention. He basically, like, he's trying to do the most flagrant thing possible to yeah. get attention. It's not even in good taste, and it's not even, like, it's not a real effort at content. This is just, like, how many people can I frustrate with the next dumb thing I do? Literally, literally, that's all it is. And what's even worse is that, like, people do this stuff expecting it to, like, catapult their career. Literally, and yeah. it's not doing it. Bro. It's and not, it's, you're not even doing that either. And not to say that it would ju be justifiable, but at, at bare minimum, at least you could argue you're getting something out of it. But, bro, like, you're you're not doing anything. And what makes it worse is that because there's no return, he just thinks that I just gotta outdo the, la yeah, outdo the last ridiculous thing. I always question, especially when it comes to, like, content creators in this realm of, like, like pranks because we've been talking about this recently and it just kind of feels like there's no bounds in which they're willing to go especially with the whole logan paul thing always always keep thinking to myself like bro like every single time i see something like this it just reassures that like it's critical people are of, of like content creators as soon as people get in front of a camera bro like they just they they also don't know that line and i believe that this is like a very extreme example of this right but like bro like look at like i bought a a, a bomb into a class Classroom, um, walking around with a Confederate flag, uh, losing mental sanity in San Diego. He's probably going around just like, like he's literally just making life, making life more difficult for people. Like literally, already have a difficult life. We're literally already struggling. We're literally just trying to like live life in the most peaceful manner. And then you're going around there thinking that it's content, and it's an ongoing problem that like we've been having. This guy right here though was like by far I've never seen nobody like the bounds that he's going to is crazy. How you gonna do that, man? That's some shark. That's liquid chocolate. Man, you got some nice curls on you. Hey, thanks, man. You trying Is to make some extra cut money? I just wanted to make it right, dude. It's MLK Day, come on. Then he's getting kicked out on MLK I'm Day. Kicked out on MLK Day. God damn it, Starbucks. About to be an epidemic of these niggas. I'm about to say, bro. It's about, to, it's about to just get worse. Cameraman, too, bro. And what's even crazier is that, like, I think that in their mind, they're justified. In their mind, like, it's fine. Like, it's just content. Like, I don't. And they clearly don't understand, like, the the line in which it's being crossed. I don't know if, like, it's a mental problem that they have or that they genuinely just don't care, bro. My friend sold me as a slave. This video is a year old. That means he's been trying for a year. And most people, when they say shit like, I've been trying YouTube for a year. They're all lying. But this nigga's been consistently uploading for at least a year. He's been trying, bro. And the most success he's seen so far is him teasing a homeless man with food. Like, because the slave, the, the slave selling didn't work the first time. So he had to just keep. So I'm saying, like, the internet has fully incentivized everybody to be more egregious than the next. And everybody reacts to it. Niggas is not reacting to his other content. So it's going to make him want to poke at homeless people more because that's what worked. But did it really work, though? To him, when he's seen numbers he's never seen before across all 
all those platforms, yes. Mm. It might not be attention he wants. He might be burning through people way faster than what's sustainable, but it's, it's definitely not sustainable. Without it, it's not, not but he got the attention he wanted. That's how you make a fucking thumbnail, bitch. It's for a high school history project. <laughs> This is for a high school. Ready to call the police. No, listen. It's for a high school history project. You gotta listen to high. For what? You gotta listen to high. He's calling the police. He's PC. I knew it. They're PC out here. They're PC Bro, run to the car. Go to the car. He's he's calling the cops. <laughs> I pour me some link. Yeah, I'm high as shit. I would like three passes to the Underground Railroad, please. You're wanting cash to the Underground Railroad? I'm with my massa. He brought me here. He said I can find free. Show him our uh, poster board. Whoa, that's your exhibit? Yes, exhibit. So and what are you doing with it? So what we're talking is about the Underground Railroad. You know how there's roots of Let's Illinois, correct? Well, <laughs> my massa will tell me what I'm up to. Tell him, massa, what yeah. are we up to? We're selling the massa. Get your mask on now. I can't believe that that's no way. That's, that's the a... issue you have with what he said, bitch. Yeah, that's crazy. Slaves for sale. Slaves. For sale. Slaves for sale. He was laughing his ass off. He was like, yeah. See, he's literally just trying to top what he did last time. The problem though is like you said, like they're like, I don't even think they understand the concept of like how to create content. And so in their mind, this is like, like there's not even a storyline to this. These niggas just got in like, ah, oh, we got a ragged clothes and a poster board and some markers, get some chains and then we'll, we'll definitely, we'll have a video on our hands, bro. And yeah, it's just like literally topping one after the other. The problem also is like, it's not sustainable, bro. Like you trying to do this is not sustainable. Especially when you find yourself like, when is a, when do you like, go through your mental like i've crossed the line like when does it because if you if this isn't right if this isn't the um thing that crossed the line for you if it wasn't yeah. you, know, you buying a homeless person food and then eating it in front of their face if that didn't cross the line for you what is it that's going to be crossing the line that you have not deemed like excessive yet and just imagine just add, and as i say that to the rest of the people imagine all the things that he has thought about where they might have said ah that might that be, might be it. imagine yeah. the times where they literally said that might be too much bro like stuff like that is, is i just i I just don't i never ever ever understood it i don't get it at all and what's even worse is that like yeah you're right bro it's going to get worse like it's going to continue it's going to grow people are going to get more and more attention hell you could even easily argue even we're feeding into the attention right now by covering this but i just think that like it's mad interesting to me how so many people get to this point so quickly like this nigga's been doing this from the beginning bro like he's been creating extreme content from the beginning and he's just trying to up himself over and over and over again there was an update on the other video that we um re reacted to where the dude the went around and he was harassing people in the um what you call it come to find out yeah he was full-on harassing him he was full-on harassing the dude he was walking behind him for like a minute or so and a guy didn't know like i don't know like what are you doing why are you following me and that's why he pulled up the the, the blicky and bopped him bro and i don't know this is not like even a knock to like jadeon and them but i almost feel like they shouldn't have to explain to people how to make this type of content without crossing the line because even if they explain it to them they're still going to end up crossing the line just because they're that's trying true. to seek a reaction that's all they're trying to do and coming from people who created content for years and years it's very difficult to seek a reaction very difficult and so either you're willing to just stay out in the street and interview a bunch of people and probe a little bit longer and do that for hours and hours and hours in hopes that you get a reaction b you just fake it completely or c you get so extreme with the thing that you're trying to do that just the concept of what you're doing is you think is content worthy regardless if people are reacting or not going to um, a homeless person and then buying food and then not allowing them to eat the food and eating it in their yeah, face like, that's that crazy that i don't want none of that anybody want that shit Ain't nobody want no nasty ass cookies. Fucking Girl Scout cookies. Nobody want. What is that, bro? Man, I don't even know what to say. Like, I checked out a video yesterday. It titled it, uploaded it, 50 Cent a Menace. 50 Cent actually funny with the shit he be doing. It shit just. Hey, I don't even know what to say. I like. I, I genuinely have no idea what to say, bro. Yo, I yo, I I really and truly hope that like, especially because I don't even care if you're young or not, bro. It's just a responsibility that comes with like creating content, in my opinion. And so there's definitely um a line that can be pushed at times, but like some of this stuff is not even content, bro. Like there's no concept to it. Walking up to a a, a Girl Scout cookie stand to knock over cookies, there's no concept to that. Like buying food for a homeless person and then eating in front of them. Like, what is the, like, 
what's the what's the what's the punchline there? Like I don't I don't I don't understand. I, I just don't get it. But yo, uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. I don't try to make this too much of a reoccurring thing, but like I just witnessed like a whole channel of just like degenerate content over and over and over again. It's becoming like a theme just for. I feel like bro is gonna keep doing it until he goes too far, and then YouTube is just gonna take him down because they're gonna be like, yeah, we can't have that on our site. Not only views were like a measly amount of views that really shouldn't justify it either. Like I'm just I'm just. Just being like a YouTuber, I'm just watching this like, yeah, you getting 10K is, it's not enough, bro. It's not enough for you to go out there and harass people who are not asking to be harassed, bro. Like, come on. But yo, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, we'll see you all later. Peace. I want to get the peace. I haven't been homie, homeless and knowing how demeaning and dehumanizing you feel more and more every day. I commend this man for not caving dude's head in. An anger that I felt when I seen. I didn't feel anger. I was just like, "Why are you doing? This? Like, like honestly, like, what's the point of what's the point of you doing? This? Like, I would be like, it would be like, okay, then if you did that, and then you're like, here's yours. Okay, then that's cool. But bro, you damn near know that nigga is starving. Probably hasn't eaten days, or maybe is addicted to some shit. And you buying him food is better than you giving him money to to buy food. But yeah. His friends are the prime example of how craving attention is brain rock. Damn. Uh, but yeah, like, man, sooner or later, YouTube will intervene with these places. And like, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're going to keep doing it until they go too far, and then YouTube's just going to be like, okay, yeah, that's enough. We don't want that no more. But yeah, like, subscribe to you guys later. Hope you have a good day or night. And bye.